Thank you so much for coming back to Bear Clooney Watches. Today I feel a little bit French again, but I also feel like a pilot. All kidding aside, today we're talking about the legendary pilot watch with some French flavor. Today we're talking about Breguet Type 20. Some will argue that the greatest pilot watch is Breitling Navitimer. I will argue opposite. I will say Breguet Type 20 is the most legendary pilot watch. You let me know how you feel. But before you make the call, try to learn a little more about Breguet Type 20, an amazing Breguet company with exceptional history. So for start, why don't we go to Bear Clooney studio and take a closer look at this beautiful watch. Let's go. Here we are at Bear Clooney's Watches Studio taking a closer look at this legendary pilot watch, Breguet Type 20. I just want to touch for a moment on Type 20 part of the watch. You see, that's nothing more or less than actual specifications used and issued by French military during the 1950s. And they were issued to watchmakers so they can produce specific timepieces required by their pilots. They were produced by five other companies besides Breguet, Dodain, Oricos, Matei Tissot, Airain, and Bixa. Today, only three company, companies actually are doing re-editions, and they are Breguet, Oricost, and Dodain. This uh, Type 20, not the Type 20 uh, that was, that was uh, original, is actually reissued, launched in 1995, just before the Swatch Group acquired Breguet. It's clearly, clearly re-edition, inspired by the Type 20, uh, but not uh, the, the, the watch that fulfills the Type 20 specifications. It kept many of its iconic features and design codes, and uh, today it's actually more modern and refined timepiece that can proudly sport the Breguet logo. Uh, the Type 20 is a real pilot chronograph, with its dial showing a black color and contrasting white digits, it has also kept the chronograph function with the flyback complication that every pilot finds very useful when calculating is required. Um, they're maintaining a rather small diameter for the case, which is 39 millimeters, and I actually love this. I also love this coin edge, as you can see, which is a signature of Breguet watches, and it adds to certain class and to certain DNA of this watch. Um, Type 20 is a watch that will be comfortable both in a plane's cockpit or during a business meeting. That's my humble opinion. Um, this watch uh, might seem a little busy and a little confusing when you take a first glance at it, mainly because uh, it presents different, uh, different fonts and each hand has a distinct shape and each sub-counter has its own layout. But it's actually, there is a reason for it. This is an instrument watch and it contributes to its legibility. Now I was talking about this, uh, this chronograph and uh, basically a flyback chronograph allows getting back to zero, meaning starting a new timing session by only pressing a single pusher. In a classical chronograph, uh, as many of you know, it's a three-step operation. First, you have to stop the chronograph by pressing the pusher at two, then set it back to zero by pressing the pusher at four, and finally start the chronograph uh, again by pressing the pusher at two. On a flyback chronograph, you only have to press the pusher at four once to accomplish this. It is especially useful when you have to time several distances or intervals in a row. So this watch, um, design and details of the stainless steel case are the main difference with the vintage, vintage Type 20, 
Whereas the old ones used to have a very simple and functional shape, the new Type 20s come with a refined and very well executed case. Uh, the typical brigade fluted sides and upscale uh, with, with uh, providing that upscale touch and uh, polished finish. It has a bi-directional bezel with the 60 clicks, feels really, really high quality. Uh, I have my croc strap on it and I love it. Um, I think that light brown alligator strap with this folding clasp uh, looks great. Uh, this watch also looks really cool on a leather NATO strap, um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a relatively versatile watch, and, and it can be enjoyed. It can be enjoyed in, in many shapes and forms. Now, a little bit about the movement. The Breguet Type 20 uses the caliber 582, that is basically a Lemania 1350, with an extra flyback complication. The caliber 1350 is an evolution of the Lemania 1340 that can be found in some vintage automatic Omega Speedmaster and Seamaster chronographs. Uh, movement is um, uh, the, chron uh, the chronograph movement is activated by cams. Uh, it takes at 28,800 uh, vibrations per hour or four hertz. Um, and boasts 48 uh, hours of power reserve. Um, it's not um, it's not properly in-house caliber, but Lemania is now fully integrated in the Swatch Group, and the 1350 is exclusive to the Type 20. So let's agree that this is proprietary movement. Uh, compared to the Lemania 1350, uh, the finish of the movement is brought up to Breguet standards meaning Geneva stripes on the rotor, circular graining on the plates and bridges, beveled angles and straight graining on the chronograph levers and cams. Um, I would say they certainly improved the movement and uh, brought it to the Breguet standard. The Type 20 is um, clearly one of the best chronographs in my opinion. And uh, it is legendary pilot-oriented watch. Uh, like any other watch, it's not perfect. That's why we're continuing this search for a perfect watch. Uh, but uh, even with some faults, you accept them and uh, you admit they are part of its charm. It's a very accurate timepiece. I, I find it that it's in a really plus, plus three, plus five for me. Um, it's a really up, uh, has this upscale feeling, um, yet it's still a flying instrument and it, it can be sporty and dressy in the same time. So I enjoy this piece. I enjoy uh, also the fact that it has a good value as, as a used time piece and um, I think it's a, it's a great choice for someone who would like to have a timepiece with a great uh, pedigree, with a great history and great quality. So much from Bear Clooney Watches Studio. Take care.
what do you think? Did you enjoy? It is truly a nice watch. It has a, such a great history. It's a beautiful design and really great aesthetics. And imagine this, it actually represents a great value on the used market. I think it's a fantastic choice for someone who enjoys pilot watches, chronographs, and I highly recommend it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved sharing my watches with you. I love sharing this quest for the perfect watch and hope to see you again. Please don't forget to click like or subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much and have a great day.